muscle and strength. We're gonna take you through the groceries that I get in the week, a little bit of necessities, and maybe a couple fun things, tips and tricks as well. So let's get it done. I like to just go through this grocery store in a circle. So the produce is the first thing I hit because it's the first thing you get to. Um, I don't need too many things, but I'm gonna get some peppers, some bell peppers. So I like to do this. It just has the try of bell peppers. So we'll get some russet potatoes. I do 100 grams of fruit in the morning. I was doing apples and blueberries at times, but right now, um, which I will show you guys tonight, I have this recipe with bananas that I've been absolutely loving. So I'm gonna get a couple bananas. This is like the perfect one. There's only three of them, because uh, I already have a couple at the house as well. But that's what I've been doing in the morning. So we'll get those, and then mushrooms. So I don't eat a ton of veggies. I'm not a big lettuce guy or a greens guy, if you will. Uh, I do greens powder a couple times, and then I do the bell peppers, onions, mushrooms with a couple meals. Um, the fruit also, and then every once in a while we'll add stuff like salsa and that kind of stuff. Um, but otherwise, my meal plan is pretty simple. Um, and as you guys will see, I don't get a lot of things at the grocery store. Sugar free, water flavoring, because I'm a big baby and I don't like to drink water plain. I don't drink a lot of soda, um, especially now because I'm sponsored by Rise and they have the energy drinks. So I like to have like one carbonated drink a day. There's something really, really satisfying about just having a little bit of carbonation. Um, and so this is kind of like an easy trick to kind of satisfy that sweet tooth, if you will. And this one is my absolute favorite. It's diet cream soda, and there's nothing better. I drink one of these every session. It's a little bit of carbohydrates, a little bit of electrolytes, and obviously hydration to go with that. Um, I think it's one of the best ways to kind of feel your workout to get a little bit extra and get those last couple reps. So Gatorade, shout out to you. You can send me some stuff if you want. One of my all time favorites, especially dieting or coming out of a diet kind of to volumize food is rice cakes. Caramel is my favorite. Um, they do have a couple grams of sugar in them. I think one or two grams of sugar along with the rice that's in here, but they're delicious. They're easy to get down and they're filling. Jasmine rice. This is my absolute favorite brand here, the Golden Star. Um, I don't need to pick any up because I have like a 25 pound bag in my closet at the house, uh, but that's the essentials. Um, chicken and rice, every bodybuilder knows that's what you're supposed to eat like six times a day, right? Something else I use a lot of is like teriyaki or soy sauce. Um, you guys saw, I love Asian food, I love sushi, I like all that kind of stuff, so I like to season my food up with that. One way, easy way to do is make your chicken teriyaki with like a P.F. Chang sauce. So this is something that I have in the fridge. I have a couple other sauces at the house that I'll show you that they actually don't have here. Um, but guys, bodybuilding is pretty simple. Most foods, there's not bad foods out there. There's just necessarily choices that you don't want to use or you could make a better choice, if you will. So we're in the jams and the peanut butters. Um, I don't need any peanut butter. I have like a whole closet full of peanut butter, but that's a necessity for me. It's one of the fat sources that digests really well for me. Also something else that I use a good bit of is I like this for a natural sweetener. Um, so I like honey and I like this whipped version just because it's a little bit thicker. And it's easier to like spread on a rice cake versus making a mess with this other honey. I feel like it just gets all over everything and then you got sticky fingers. Bulking tip. So I'm not at that point yet, but I will be at that point very soon where I need to get my carbohydrates up to 800, 1,000, 1,200 carbohydrates. What I'll be doing is post-workout. If I'm not doing a sushi meal like that, 
I'll be doing something like this, a rice-based cereal that digests super fast and gets straight to the point. Fruity Pebbles, my absolute favorite cereal of all time, one of the best, but it's rice-based, it digests well, and it's an awesome product. You can also use Cocoa Pebbles, or if you wanna keep it really clean and keep the sugar out of it, of course you can have the original Rice Krispies. So, good option to get those extra carbohydrates in, and who can't eat a big bowl of cereal? I think everybody can do that, so that's an easy bulking tip. So, let's look at these steaks, see what they got for us here. Um, they got some good looking ribeyes here. So, when you're looking at ribeyes, things to look at is obviously you want not too fat, not too grisly, but you want a nice marble in the meat. Um, obviously you're going for a cut that's a little bit more fatty, so it's important, but also the marbling has a lot to do with the flavor. So we're gonna get this, because this has a lot of nice marbling, and uh, that's gonna be part of our perfect bulk meal tonight, so. All right, chicken tenderloins. Guys, I like to kind of spend a little bit extra money on chicken. I feel like the higher quality the chicken is, the better it digests um, and the better you're just going to see results from it. So obviously you guys know they pump these chickens out a million a day, it seems like. So the less things you can have in the chicken, probably the more beneficial for you as a bodybuilder. Um, something that I've found is that actually we'll go over here to the eggs, but I had to really step my game up and buy more expensive eggs that are really high quality uh, because the other eggs just absolutely wreck my digestion. I cannot do the liquid egg whites. Um, they just don't do well with my digestion as well. So I would recommend you as a bodybuilder, if you are eating cheaper eggs or you are drinking or eating the liquid egg whites, possibly cut those out of your diet and see how it changes your digestion. These are two that I would recommend for you as bodybuilders. So Happy Egg Co, they do a great job, as well as these pasteurized eggs. Um, these guys do a wonderful job too. So they're a little bit higher end. They're a little bit more expensive. You're probably gonna spend about double on these what you would on other eggs, but I promise you it's gonna make a difference. There you have it, muscle and strength. A grocery haul, nothing special, nothing fancy, but this is what I eat in a week. Uh, like I said, very simple and to the point. Thank you for tuning in. Now, let's go cook up some meals.